So you've got a LinkedIn profile, but what do you do with it? How do you use LinkedIn? Now, here's three ways you might be using LinkedIn. Well, firstly, the, the, the actual fourth way is not using LinkedIn at all. So then you're not using it. But how are you actually using it? So you might be a lurker. You might be lurking from afar. You might use it daily, consuming content, reading other people's stuff in the home feed, taking it all in, but not contributing to those relationships and not sharing your own content. Now, lurking is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a way to research and find out information but you're not really leveraging your own brand and building your footprint and establishing your authority and credibility and building influence. So lurking is a way to to start. Now, the other thing you can be doing, which is the complete opposite, is promoting. And that's where you're not actually consuming any content. You're just going in there and you're putting your voice out there. You're sharing your content to your network. And maybe you're not even in LinkedIn, maybe using a scheduling tool and putting the content into like your Hootsuite, your Buffer, your Agora Pulse, and you're sharing it or blasting it to LinkedIn without even being in LinkedIn. So that's talking at your audience. You're not talking with them. You're not having a conversation. You're not considering them. You're just sharing your your, um, content. Now, that's not the way to build your brand. It's a way to establish some sort of credibility but talking at, you're missing a massive, massive opportunity. So what's the alternate? The preferred method is influencing. And this is talking with your audience. This is sharing content to LinkedIn, but also engaging with content on LinkedIn. It's about, sure, researching and then picking people within that research to actually engage with. And by engagement, I mean commenting potentially liking or reacting, but commenting is where the value is. So finding someone in your network that's got some interesting content, maybe you find it in the home feed, maybe you strategically strategically go to someone's profile, look at their articles and activity and find a piece of content to engage with that way. Because your home feed can be a very busy place, particularly if you're following everybody. LinkedIn's delivering up um, content that it thinks you're most interested in. So the way LinkedIn works with the three degrees in this diagram is that when you share a piece of content, your network, your first level connections may see it in their home feed, depending on the algorithm. If they do, and they do decide to comment on your update, they're exposing your content to their network. And if those people or some of those people comment on your update, they're exposing it to their contacts their connections, who are your third level connections. So the network on LinkedIn, your network is three degrees deep. Anybody outside three degrees is considered out of your network. And that's kind of why you want to build your first level connections strategically. So you are increasing your second and third level connections strategically. It's about having the right people in your networks. So that's why you want to not only share content to LinkedIn and add value, but also engage with other people's content because then you're doing the reverse, you're reaching their network and you're building relationships. So that's influencing and that's what I like to call part of the Connectfluence formula. So have a think about what you're doing on LinkedIn right now. How are you using LinkedIn? Is it working for you? Could it be even better if you put some time to this? And it doesn't have to take a lot of time. So if you do need some help, feel free to get in touch with me. And if you need help reviewing your profile or you need some coaching or training, That's what I do. Happy to help.